All right, what's up, Dragon Brood? This should be a fun one because I realized a thing that I don't think I've played Marchesa on this channel at all, like since it was printed. And I wanted to give it a go because it seems like a pretty cool card. And coincidentally, I found a deck that actually did well in a Magic Online tournament. So I figured, why not? Now, admittedly, that's best of three. We're going to play it in best of one, but I say let's give it a go and do some criming. So, getting into the list, we're playing some cutdowns. We all know what that is. Duress, which we know what this is. Also counts as a crime, which is kind of nice. We have Tiny Bones, because we're going to be playing a bunch of Legends, so shouldn't surprise anybody here. And you get Crime Credit. Same thing with Deep Cavern Bat, but you get to take a card from their hand. And we have some Go for the Throat. More Crime Credits and Killing Things. Now some stuff that cares about Crimin, Magda. So we can actually get some treasure and hopefully turn some of these into dragons. Lazav, which gets to remove stuff from graveyards and then turn into other things, which is also really cool. Especially since we're playing Tiny Bones to put stuff in the yard. Karavek, obviously, so when we crime, we can actually replay anything with black in it, which is pretty much the majority of the deck. We do have Liliana, which is super nice. Lord Skitter, also crimes every turn, removing stuff from the graveyard. We have the infamous Cruel Claw, one copy, but... This was actually pretty cool. We played it in a mid-rangey deck a couple of days ago, and it was actually a lot of fun. Here, I don't know if the value is going to be as high because we don't have a ton of really expensive things, but we do have a couple that could be worth hitting. And honestly, if we just draw a land and we don't need a land, we'll just get discard that and play whatever card we flip. So that'd be cool. Of course, Marchesa, if you don't know what she is, she's a three mana, three, four. Whenever you commit a crime, you can pay one mana. If you do, you look at the top two cards of your library, you put one in your hand and the other in the graveyard. The goal here is to basically keep your hand stocked with things that can crime, so that way you can keep triggering and keep going and just have your deck go nuts. We'll see if it works out, though. We are playing some Shieldred because, hey, that's what was in the original list and the card's still good. Vryn, though, was an interesting inclusion because we have so many things that kill the opponent's things. Every time a creature the opponent controls dies, we get a 1-1 that's bigger for the number of rats we control. So that's actually pretty sweet considering we also have Lord Skitter that happens to be a rat and creates rats, so this could end up being an interesting piece of the deck. Gisa, because it gives all of our zombies and skeletons menace, but mostly whenever we commit crime, she makes some of those, so it's fine. She's just a good card all on her own, and there's only one copy anyway. We do have Arakdos Joins Up, which can actually get something out of the graveyard. Whenever our creatures die, we get to deal damage, and those are all the spells in the deck. So yeah, no need to go over the lands here, but there are a little bit of everything because we are playing three colors. So, yeah, obviously playing a full set of Plaza of Heroes because we have so many Legends. Now, again, this deck was played in Magic Online, best of three. We're going to play it in best of one. But if it does well and you want to try it out, at the end of the video, we will have a link down below to take you to Moxfield, a channel sponsor where you can download this deck. You can play it on Arena yourself and have a good time committing some crimes. But anyway, let's go see if crime really does pay. That's a lot of removal. If we're not playing against a creature deck, this hand's going to be really bad. If we are, it's actually pretty decent. Like, if this is mono red or something, this is actually kind of all right. We'll see, though, if it goes the way we want. Okay, this is very likely mice, so this is cool. This could be a lot worse. We can kill some, some mice, some meeses, some mouses. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use this. See if they have a way to save it. They do not. They probably had like a rage or something there. Now, nah, if they had a rage, they probably would have used it, right? Okay, so far so good. No need to be in a huge hurry here. Interesting they're playing Demonic Ruckus in this build, though. I think it's the first time we've seen that. Yeah, we just let it through. Kind of curious if they were going to try to rage or something. All right, well, we'll still take four probably if they rage it but that's okay if they don't they don't we're okay with that too all right let's hit them with the tiny bones target any number uh, yeah i was like wait a minute why does it ask me to submit again but it's just the one never mind All right, what you got going on? Mmm, virtual loyalty, that's what that was. Okay, fair. Uh-oh, what are we doing here? 
Ember Challenger. It does have haste and prowess. Fair enough. Just where they go to try to target it. I mean, they will get to see another card, but that's okay. Is it till the end of the next turn? Because that's a real quick... Nope, it's just till the end of turn. Fantastic. That's what I needed to know. Then we will go here. Yeah, I'll play a new one. Why not? Get that last card out of their hand. And then we'll just play Liliana and cost them a duder. All right. Then at some point, they got to draw land, right? All right, well, when they get something, they'll be able to play things on it. Let's go ahead and go here. I'm willing to just discard the Lord Skitter. Just for the fun value we get off of this. And then that leaves us the ability to still sac make them sacrifice a the thing. All right, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, Let's attack first. Because we get to see what the opponent had, or what we draw first off of this. And we can decide if it's worth keeping Magda or not. Ooh, we'd rather have a Caravec than a Magda, I think. So let's, let's do that. That feels a lot better. Uh, we could replay a Lord Skitter. Alright, cool, that works. So I got that wind under my belt, and then I thought, okay, we're off to the races. Turns out I was wrong. I had a string of games where we had such bad luck. Either I got stuck on two or three lanes, or I got no removal. So I just had a bunch of games where nothing really happened. So I'm just gonna give you the quick montage, and we'll get back to the regular scheduled games. Okay, we'll keep this one. We're gonna go Duress. The rare turn one Duress. Oh, against a mono red pile. Um, can't take Scamp, unfortunately. I guess we'll take this. Maybe I should, I don't know. We'll see. I'm sure there's multiple ways we could have played that. Pass the turn. Little mage. Alright. Target this. We'll take our one. Then target this dude. Appreciate what they're doing, though. Going hard on the damage. Just play things, deal damage. What is this? Deal one damage to a target. This deals a damage, you draw a card. All right, we'll take this. <laughs> like, I mean, damage draw a card is annoying, but whatever. We'd rather take the things that just do more straight up. All right. Got a shieldred. Unless they just drew, like, Witch Stalker Frenzy. They're not going to have a way to kill this. Whenever you cast an Anchor spell, you untap. Oh, yeah. So it's like a, a worse version of a card we've seen previously. All right. We're attacking. And we might as well just kill the one thing you got. All right. Opponent goes to 12. Ah, uh, there you go. That's why they're doing what they're doing. That makes way more sense. All right, still attacking. I think we're in okay shape. If they can kill us with, like, three cards, then I'm just going to let them kill us. They earned it. All right, that does four. You get a card. Go to four. I mean, one of those has to be a creature. You can't even block. Yep. All right, I'm going to keep it and try it. Uh, our luck's not been great so far, and there's a tiny bones already, so this is probably not boating well for us. Sure, man. We have to get rid of a thing. Um, probably... Cave the Coilos? I think we want to keep everything else.
Not sure if they're a discard deck or not, but we're going to pass. Leaving up Gopher Throat in case there's like... Not that. That was not what I was thinking of. However, though, that is going to end up being a problem. Because we are not really geared to deal with that just yet. Alright, let's get rid of this thing so we just don't have to deal with it again. Only good news here is if they have the Liliana, we could at least sacrifice the token. But any other removal is obviously just going to kill Lord Skitter here. Alright, so they didn't have it. Interesting. Well, what do we do now? Because that was not anticipated, <laughs> to say the least. Okay, um, I guess... Oh, I forgot that comes into play tapped. Dang it. I wasn't thinking last turn. Mm, can't play Shieldred here. Alright, well... We attack. Because why not? And we go ahead and play this. I discard two things. Or two cards unless they discard a non-land. Uh, I guess it's this. Hopeless Nightmare, sure. You can have my Plaza of Heroes. So weirdly, this is a discard deck? With Vine Lashers? Hmm. I'm definitely not totally aware of what's going on here. Uh, yeah, we will take this. We will play it, kill the other one. Because that one's already targeted, right? Yeah. And then I'll pay the two life. And we will pay that one, too. All right. So that was a pretty strong turn overall. Get rid of this. Uh, submit zero, because we can't pay for anything. And we'll attack. And then they go to six. That feels like the best we could do. Alright, cool. We have double Marchesa that we can't cast here. And a cut down. We're gonna mulligan. That was that was a rough, rough situation. Um Hmm. Guess Vren's gotta go back in. Cause we need the mana, and if this ends up being against a creature deck, obviously we'd love to have the removal. There is a world though where I probably could have got rid of the cut down and gambled a little bit. And, of course, we draw a cut down, so I guess I would have liked that gamble. Because not often that you need two cut downs early when you're holding a go for the throat. Oh, this is what we're doing. Okay. That's good. Wait, maybe? What's happening here? I, for real, do not know what's going on. And I don't think I want to wait to find out. I mean, they're hitting their mana, though. Pitiless Carnage. Cool. Uh, we put this on human, I believe. Target the opponent. Unfortunately, we can't pay to get a card into our hand. Are they going to kill our Marchesa? No, they're going to play Anissa here. And now kill her? Yeah, that makes sense. That tracks. Mm, as much as I would love to play you, I'd rather kill this first. I've been seeing a lot of decks in our Discord. People really want to rock the Pitiless Carnage, which I find very interesting. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and play it. And if you kill this, I guess, alright, so be it.
I mean, because they could sweep the board just to get rid of it, and we'd be fine with that. And then we get to play a Shieldred. Too bad this has to target a creature with five or less. Like, if I could target a creature and then the creature's power or toughness was five or less, that'd be awesome. It would also, in some cases, make this too good. All right, Vine Lasher. Interesting, they didn't want to kick the Vine Lasher. They wanted to prioritize getting down a Lilian or a Nyssa. All right, well, sure. We'll Cruel Claw, target the opponents. We'll go ahead and pay the two life to get this. Submit zero. And I'll attack. Like, if they trade, we're fine. Because if not, it's probably just dying next turn anyway. Okay, cool. Let's see what they got. A way to put more lands into play. Looks like they have a live spell. It is a land, which gets the mana that doesn't really do much. I mean, they could sack some things to draw cards here, though, with the carnage, I guess. Like, sacking three tap lands could still be worth it for them here. Because their problem is, like, we know they have the Carnage, right? And it's Sorcery Speed, so... Once we play Shieldred, they almost can't use it. Yeah, opponent's saying GG here. Like, you have to block the Caravan. Yeah, I was gonna say, you can't do anything else there. I mean, decline the Deep Cavern Bat. And then we'll just play this. They go to eight. And they can't use the Pitiless Carnage now, except for, like, two cards. I mean, they could go crazy and go to three, but then they'd have to have multiple blockers and a whole different situation. here. Okay, they're going for it. Or you're just going to kill yourself if you sack all the lands, opponent. Like, don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, uh, well, they're dead. Ah, well. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Exciting way to go out, I guess. I mean, I guess if they just forget you have Shieldred and want to draw a pile of cards. Yeah, opponent just said, oops. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, eight triggers. So unless you can just respond with some type of life gain here with that six mana floating, that's that's kind of it. Or I guess, did they draw eight? Oh, they drew six. Yep, and there you go. There goes their life total. Wild way to win, but we'll take it. Alright, yeah, we'll keep this one. I think we go ahead and hit the duress first, and then we'll see about either tiny bones or go for the throat based on what we know is in their hand. You know, I have used this same pet since it came out. I don't think I've even looked to see. I know I have other pets, but I don't think I've even looked to see what all I actually have, which is kind of funny. Alright, so it's going to be bats, Zoraline. Alright, that's that's cool. Putting stuff in the graveyard could be a bit of a risk with Zoraline, but we'll see. I mean, we could follow up with Lord Skitter, so it's not like the worst thing. Alright, that's reasonable, I suppose. So we're not worried about this bat. Like, it does gain life and stuff, but that's, that's not our concern. It's the other two that get them all the value. So my guess is next turn, unless they draw, like, Deep Cavern Bat, they'll probably play the Ruin Loker. We'll play Lord Skitter, start removing things from the graveyard, and then we'll figure out what to do from there. Okay, cool. Was well, not a Deep Cavern Bat. That is a big deal. <laughs> that, that was going to be a problem if it was. Alright. And we get to remove a bat. We want to minimize the benefit of Zoraline in case something crazy happens down the road. All right, there it is. They gain a life, then they'll gain a life again when they attack, so they get two more. Yeah, we're just going to play this tap because our plan right now is just kill this. 
Get rid of that. Attack. All right. They can play this and kick it. Now, the fun part is we'll get to play Shieldred, so they will take damage no matter what off their bonus cards. But it's going to get a little bit ugly, so we'll see what happens. Both life totals are still crazy high here. Uh, get rid of that. I think we just attack, right? They'll jump block a 1-1. One, one, or they'll double block Lord Skitter and we'll just save Lord Skitter. Oh, they're doing nothing. Alright, well here we go. Cool. Alright. How much damage is coming here? 2 plus 2. 2 plus 2. So they took 4 from each of those. Nice. Love to see that. Wait, did they not take extra off the other one they drew? Oh, it just puts it into your hand. It's not even a draw. So you just lose a life for it initially. Well, all right. Fair enough. Look at me being greedy. They didn't take extra damage? <laughs> I mean, they have some life linkers they get to block with here. So there's, there's still a lot going down. Death touchers matter. Wow. They're just saying F your couch. All right. Sure. Get rid of that guy. A taxis. I mean, that's 10. You, you got to block something. You can't just let... They're just going to let it happen. All right. Cool. Then they're definitely dead. Because we can protect the shield even if that's a go for the throat. Yeah. We go first with three pain lands here. Oof. So we're probably going to take at least five damage on our first couple turns. Ouch. All right. I don't think we have a choice. I mean, I think we have to keep it, but it, it doesn't feel great. In a way, I kind of want to get like a deep cavern bat or something here to be able to recoup some of our life. Oh, this is probably some type of mono green scenario. Oh, uh, what are we doing here? I guess we just play another Tiny Bones. And then whatever they play next turn, unless it's the 3-3, three, three, we'll be able to kill it with the cut down anyway. Is at least the thinking here. Oh gosh, they're playing Lumra. They're going real big. Oh gosh. This is not what I thought was happening. Oh, man. All right. Filling their graveyard could actually be a detriment for us. Uh, there's a bat. You know what? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm going with this. I'm just going to say they don't seem like the type of deck that has a way to kill our stuff. They might just play like... Ren and Realm Breaker here or something. Actually, we're probably going to play a Cliff Top Lookout. Because they probably have four of those in there. Yep, that makes more sense. Okay. That also works, I suppose. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be using Marchese here. We're going to decline. Because I want a Deep Cavern Bat instead. I think now that they're, they're already ramping up, we'd like to take away... Ooh, Ren and Realm Breaker. You can make a 3-3, but that's fine, I think. Well, that doesn't do much without creatures either, though. That's fine. We'll just keep the threats away. All right. Talent. I mean, you could pump it up. Yep, might as well. Okay. Slowly making headway here. 
At least now we have mana that if we drew like a removal spell, we could pay for Marchesa and whatever. So, though the next thing they get, they're probably going to be able to draw cards from. So that's real. Uh, we'll go with this because it does commit a crime. And we will pay. And pff, I guess we'll get a plaza hero. What? Yeah, I was going to say. It's supposed to go in our hand. There we go. All right. Okay. Well, we're good then. Cool. Yeah, this is one of those scenarios where I kind of would have liked to have seen what the opponent's deck was doing. Because there's a little bit of ramp action, like trying to put some stuff in the yard. But then, like, Lumra plus gold vein plus nissa like that's a lot of mana so they're they have to be ramping hard to make that happen but if they do man they could probably do some crazy stuff uh who yeah let's keep it yeah i think this works because then we just duress kind of figure out what's going on mm, deep cavern bat huh all right what do they have to gain life with other than bat? Just bats. Okay. So early options are just going to be defend against bats? Is that the game plan? Alright. I don't love it, but if it's what we got to do. So my assumption is here. They will play a bat. We kill the bat. So they don't take anything. They'll play the other bat. We kill the bats. They don't take anything. And then hopefully by then we can like Tiny Bones joins up and Lord Skitter and hope that does something. It's kind of where we're at here. I would love to use those on something else. I would have liked to have had a cut down there, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. I would love to draw a cut down here. Because getting Tiny Bones joins up down now and leaving up a cut down would be amazing. No such luck though. All right, pass turn. This is going to be a tough one uh, with the hand that we have. Still winnable, but it's going to be tough. Yeah, we know we have to kill that. Because, like, our only real threat is Lord Skitter, and we have to land that next turn. All right. Well, I guess now we didn't have to, but that's okay. This cost them a card, at least. But they knew that. They could already see it in our hand. So keep a spell or keep a land? It's what it feels like the decision is. Which is kind of a big deal, because if they could play that and gain life, Amalia becomes a 3-3, potentially. And that allows them to do some things. Uh, we will get rid of this, I guess. I mean, they could also draw on, like, Zora line here or whatever. And then they have a quality blocker. All right, there's the Amaya. And a Deep Cavern Bat. Which gets to take a Rakdos joins up. Fair. Uh... Yeah, all right. Well, this is where the tough part starts. I think we attack. You could always double block opponent. I wouldn't have been too upset about it in the turn. We could get lucky here, and the opponent forgets and attacks with Amalia. We could block with our Reef. <laughs> we, we could hope, right? Oh, they almost did it. They almost did it. Oh, didn't quite get there, but we almost got it, y'all. We almost got it. All right. So now our Lord Skitter's dead. Oh, well, say if they left that on top, our Lord Skitter was dead. Now they might just have a land. Have a land, please. No, it was not a land. Well, now we can't attack with a Lord Skitter unless we draw a removal spell here. So that's tough. You are not the removal spell, but we're not super mad at that either. Uh, 
Uh, take this. All right. This is a little bit of a weird scenario. We still need to be able to remove Amalia. That's the real problem here. If we can get rid of Amalia, we can just start attacking and not have to care, really. Though they might de be debating how to attack here because we now have access to the infamous Cruel Claw. So who knows? All right. That was a land, and that was a land. Awesome. They could kill off a two-mana thing, because they gained two life. But that doesn't kill anything. Oh, no. All right. Well, at least get to keep that. That's the good news. Let's get rid of that. Let's attack with just Cruel Claw, leave our mana up in case we need it. Come on, something good. Duress, that ain't good, though. The opponent just has a land in hand. Bleh. That sucked. I think I'm going to hold this, though. Just so I have something to discard. Because I may, like, draw removal to get rid of something and, you know, want to discard this plaza. This will grow their creatures, though, which is going to get super annoying. But not a lot we can do about it. It's also going to make it hard for us to kill their creatures now. That's a bigger problem. But one we'll have to figure out. Oh, that card's good. Yep. And now Amalia's too big to worry about. What is that hidden card? I don't know if we have an out in this scenario. Realistically. Like, I was kind of trying to debate, like, what we do here, but I don't know what answers are available. Because we have to use our land to attack with the reef, or else we don't really have a threatening attack here, all things considered. Hmm. Alright. I think we do it. You just say, if you have the cards, you have the cards. And there's nothing we can do about it. We just got this type of hand. We're just too far behind here, I think. Just trying to make the best of what we got. Needed a cut down much sooner than now. And it's probably just too late. I mean, they can double block Cruel Claw or whatever. But we're kind of okay with that. And I don't even know what we're hoping to get off the Cruel Claw. Probably like Shield Rid or something is probably our best bet. All right. So that's probably the best we could have hoped for under the circumstances. All right, we got the opponent to six. I mean, that's that's a real number. I mean, they're basically at ten, though, and they can kill our Lord Skitter by just playing the 3-2, the so we still got a long way to go. Oh. Oh. All right, so play your creature, kill Lord Skitter. Is that the play here? All right, and that has lifelink on its own, so that's that's another thing. That is a cut down. All right. GG's. We can't win now. <laughs> like, we for real just can't win. Alright. We tried coming from behind. We, we didn't have much shot in that one. Our cards didn't come together. Alright, we're gonna keep it. I think we just go with this and then uh, probably go for the throat something. Alright, it was not a bat. 
I mean, I guess we do this, it either dies to an actual removal spell or a Liliana. So, meh. If it's a Liliana, then we try to play Marchesa next turn. Oh, it wasn't. All right, cool. That's nice. <laughs> like, not what I thought was going to happen, but yeah, it's, it works. It qualifies. All right, cool. And this is why we don't kill it first. Because they might have discarded thinking, I already have a Glissa. Now, watch us with our luck to have the third Glissa. That'd be sicko. Honest Redstein. Well, it's kind of like having a third Glissa. <laughs> you just get the other one out of the yard. Like, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, ooh. Playing Shieldred is kind of nice, but... We could do this. Target the opponent. We could pay. Get a Lord Skitter. That's kind of nice. Since they're doing Rudstein shenanigans. And the third Gliss is gone. So that's also kind of cool. Alright. I will trade this if they want to trade. Like, it's varieties of mana advantage. Sure. So now if Shieldred or Glissa show up, we can should be able to deal with them. Tiny bones. Nuisance, but fine. Alright, so kill this. Just for the sake of not dealing with it. Um. Hmm. How do I feel about this? I kind of want to take a land here. Alright. And then, believe it or not, I think I'm just going to play this. Because while this is nice, I think I'm willing to give that up. Um, Yeah, let's just get another card here. Deep Cavern Bat's kind of nice. Alright. Because I can Lord Skater and Bat next turn, so that's not terrible. No attacks, with the plan to just give up Lazav to the Tiny Bones. Don't let them get anything good out of our yard here. Now, they might have another Tiny Bones, and it's whatever if they do. Alright, that's not the worst thing. Oh, they had a Bat. Gosh dang it. Nothing you can do, though. If they have it, they have it. Alright. What else are we doing here? Let's go ahead and play a Shieldred. Play a land. Now they know the cards that are left in our hand. But we're kind of fortunate here having Shieldred Skitter left. Alright, they go to 11 for drawing that extra card. That is nice. Yeah, okay, we had it all wrapped up. Yeah, that turn was going to be the nail in the coffin, because then we just kill their bat, use the bat, get a trigger, use the Lord Skitter, remove some stuff, and then they're kind of forced to block. So, yeah, not a bad situation. I am going to mulligan this. Having everything at 3 is... Oh, no! Okay, I was going to say, why did it make me keep it? Uh, we'll keep this, though, and I'm actually just going to get rid of Marchesa here, I think. Alright. Now, I probably could have held Marchesa, but I think no matter what, on thir turn three, we're probably playing Liliana. So, we'll just have to draw another one. We are playing a bunch of Marchesa, so... Odds of drawing another one is pretty high. And there's a Deep Cavern Bat, so none of this matters. Alright, well... Oh, they went for Liliana. That is a surprise. I would have thought they'd take the go for the throat. Oh, well, that's why they didn't bother. That kind of makes sense. All right, well, I guess we'll just... You're going to take a go for the throat anyway. We'll just make you take Liliana all over again. And now let's draw another Liliana. Okay, we failed. 
I mean, we know this is dead. Opponent haven't had to play a removal spell yet, but probably something to make a sacrifice a thing. Yep, just like I thought. Happy to help, but I'm taking the credit when we win. Do 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 do. All right. I mean, this might do something. Don't know. Oh, they're getting rid of Beezus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I'm going to assume they have at least one more removal spell in hand. So Marchesa's days are numbered. Oh, it's just a Zoraline. I say just, but, you know, still relevant. I'll discard a land. They discard something. We all have things we'd rather... I mean, I guess here's kind of the good news, right? Is we get to kill a Shieldred here. Oh. I don't have a cut down, though. Dang it. That would have been awesome. All right. Well, let's go attack Liliana. I don't know why I said Shieldred. Liliana is what I meant. Okay, they're going to block. Sweet. Go ahead and hit you with that. We will decline that. But we will pay for this. And I'll take a go for the throat, I think, to get our own Liliana. Potentially. Oh, they got removal and sacrifice. Boo. Alright. Well, at least we almost got things back to parity, so that's kind of cool. Alright, land works perfectly. Right, so we kill this. Then we play this and make them discard. <sighs> Alright, that's a way to turn stuff around. Oh, it was an Aklazot. Uh, yeah, I think we just make them discard the other card, whatever it is. Alright. Oh, and it's a Zoraline? Okay, we now we gotta draw a removal card for real here. Or something good, because this is real bad. Oh my gosh. Alright, brutal. I mean, we literally just drew nothing here, so we're kind of wrecked. Because now they get to kill Liliana, get a bat back. I mean, we kind of need to draw Marchesa, really, more than anything else. Marchesa into removal, for the most part. Oh, well, not even that. Yeah, because they have a Liliana. Alright. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to cut it. Alright, I'm going to assume we're dead here. <laughs> like, we don't really have a play. Alright, GG's. Let's keep it. Alright. Interesting that they're coming out with the flats. So, some kind of deserts. And they're gaining life. Okay, so this might just be some version of bats. Let's go ahead and just play this. What? A shield ridden? Okay, that's not that weird. And the opponent just chose to play nothing there. Alright. Not sure if this is just some Orzavi control thing, but I have a feeling this cut down is going to be next to useless. So, just passing. Yep, you got it. This feels like a situation that if we don't get... Liliana, I don't know if we're going to have anything productive to do. This at least gets us two bodies. So that's kind of nice. Alright. I can live with that. I mean, they'll spend all their mana to kill her, and that's fine. I mean, if we have a sweeper, cool. 
I mean, they'll just play that here. Yep, that's what I thought. But we get a little something for our troubles there. So let's go ahead and do this. See if maybe we could find a deep cavern bat on top. That would be nice. We'll pay for it. And we did. All right. Let's see if this helps. Don't know what else you're holding, but let's find out. It's just a pile of sweepers. Go figure. All right. So you've got that, which costs seven. Jamil costs six. You got anointed affliction. You could pay that to kill our bat. Uh, all right. We'll just take this, I guess. So this literally is just play every removal and shielded. <laughs> like that's that's what this deck actually is. Play all the removal and shielded. Awesome. Uh yeah, we're going to attack. I'm going to play this. Get some mana triggers cuz eventually we'll probably just need to attack with our lands. All right, I'll Cruel Claw. Why not? Get to dig deeper. And then just force the opponent to do something. I don't know what those two unknown cards are, but I'm sure we'll find out real quick. Probably a Sunfall with our luck. Cruelty of Gix. All right, they get a shieldred back if they want to go straight to it. Nope, they wanted something out of our hand first. Is this where we attack with our land? I think so. Just kind of start forcing the issue and saying, like, you got to do something here. Uh, we will pay because more cards can't hurt. There's a deep cavern bat. Awesome. Awesome. Sure. All right, opponents at four. We get a freebie. We will absolutely play that. We will discard this cut down that doesn't do anything but kill a mite, probably. All right, cool. Yeah, I think we're going to end here on a win, but there's a lot I want to talk about with this deck, so let's kind of get into it. So, yeah, lots of little things here that are good and bad about this deck. I think for me personally, it's not quite streamlined enough. I feel like while all this stuff does care about crime or targeting your opponent's stuff, like Lazav, the couple of times we got it, didn't really bring much to the table. You know, I think it's cool you're moving stuff from the graveyard, but like Lord Skitter just does that anyway every turn. And every once in a while we might turn Lazav into a thing, but we don't really need it. You know, just never really felt like it. And if we're already targeting things, Marchesa's getting us extra cards anyway, and some value from Caravec, so we don't really need to lead on, lean on Lazav to use the clues, which we don't always have mana for anyway, right? That's a real thing. So some version of this for me would probably have, like, more Lord Skitter, more Liliana, more Caravec, less Lazav. Vryn is cute, but... We just never, like, the couple times we got it either just died or didn't matter in the general game state. So I'd be fine to not have it, and I'd rather just play another Gissa, truthfully. And if there's still room, maybe another Rakdos joins up. I just don't feel like we needed the other cards here. There's just a lot of situations where, like, even having more Deep Cavern Bats, right? I mean, I, th I feel like it could just be tighter. Like, more Deep Cavern Bats, more Caravec, like, another one of those... Another Liliana, another Lord Skitter, maybe another Gissa. I, we just, like, minus Vryn, that's a card. Minus the two Lazavs, that's three cards. Infamous Cruel Claw was cool, so I didn't mind that in here. This was kind of okay, but... Yeah, it just feels like it could be tighter. That, that's been my general thing. Now, the other issue is... I think this deck's better in best of three than best of one. I get what it's doing, but the sideboard in this one really does matter. With more duresses for the control matchups, you know, disdainful strokes for the, uh, like, domain decks, stuff like that. 
but also being able to bring in a braid or tie whatever against these creature decks even glistening deluge right to get rid of all the small stuff potentially right and the uh, gix's command so there's some cards that you really just want for different matchups that it can't play main deck and still be versatile against a lot of things now if i edit this right i'm going to include a montage you'll actually see like i lost a string of games where i just got stuck on lands that was the majority of those games that I lost. For whatever reason, got stuck at two or got stuck at three and then just couldn't do much of anything. Right? This deck absolutely needs to hit three mana. I mean, for obvious reasons, right? You've got Karavek, Liliana, Lord Skitter, Infamous Cruel Claw, Marchesa, definitely. Right? You've got to get to three mana. But realistically, you kind of have to also get to four, right? Because you want to be able to replay a Duress or a Cutdown with a Karavek. Or even being able to just... Put another card in your hand with Marchesa, right? So it it's a pretty mana-intensive deck, even though it doesn't look like it, which is kind of the other reason I don't like stuff like Lazav and Vren and whatever, because they're just not helping the plan enough. They're cute, but they're not really helping you get where you want to go. Whereas something like Magda at least is producing treasure to help you pay for all these things to keep the board clear, or let you even just play two spells in a turn. So I like some of those other cards better. Do I think the deck's bad? Not by any stretch. I think if you're playing best of three, this is probably a fine list. Obviously, the person who originally played it did well with it. But realistically, I would make some changes to this for best of one. So the list I'm going to post up updated, I think, is going to be this. We're cutting the Lazavs. We're cutting the Vryn. Uh, Cruel Claw's fine. I'm not going to get rid of it. Uh, but I do want, like, another Deep Cavern Bat. I think we could go another Karavek. And I think we can go another Gissa. I think that combination of cards gives us more plays. And as much as I like Rakdos joins up, I'm kind of all right if we just go another Liliana or another Lord Skitter instead of Rakdos joins up. It's kind of nice, don't get me wrong, but I guess against some of the decks with a bunch of sweepers is all we're going to really want it against. So I would rather go with something like Lord Skitter probably, or Liliana. I would say if you're worried about more of the control matchups, make it a Liliana, right? If you're worried more about creature decks or graveyard stuff, go with Lord Skitter. I think it's a toss-up either way. just kind of depends on your personal preferences. But that's me anyway. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be another Liliana first. We do have a mod moderate amount of creatures, so maybe it doesn't really matter. I don't know. But one way or the other, I think this is the way I would go. Mana is interesting here because it plays 25 lands. And I think I just had a string of bad luck and we just didn't quite get there on land. So I'm not going to blame that on the deck and say like it needs more land or whatever. I think it was just a weird stretch. Sometimes that happens. But overall, this is the list we're going to post up. And I think this is better for best of one. So we got three cut down, two duress, four tiny bones, three deep cavern bats, four go for the throat, three magda, two caravec. Three Liliana, two Lord Skitter, Sewer King, one Infamous Cruel Claw, four Marchesa, two Shieldred, two Gisa, Lands, five Swamp, four Dark Click Shores, two Restless Reef, two Underground, River, four Black Cleave Cliffs, three Sulphur Springs, one Cavern of Souls, four Plaza of Heroes. Now, if you want to see something fun that was consistent and crazy and won a bunch of different ways, check out this Naya Tokens list we had, because, man, it was a blast to play. If you like tokens, you'll like the next video. But that's all of you for now. We'll see you next time.